Here's a probability conundrum that we looked at in an earlier video, a conundrum that gets to the heart of what's tricky about inference. Let's suppose we have a coin, possibly biased. One scientist tosses it 12 times, gets three heads, and estimates that the probability of heads is 25%. Another scientist tosses it four times, gets one head, and comes up with exactly the same estimate. They've estimated exactly the same probability, but surely one should be more confident than the other. So confidence and probability must not be the same thing. But then the conundrum is, if confidence isn't probability, then what is it? We've already seen one answer, Bayesianism. Let's just remind ourselves about how a Bayesian talks about confidence. Let's just take the stop scientist, the one who tossed their coin 12 times, and ask how confident should they be in their answer of 25%. The Bayesianist thinks about everything in terms of degree of belief in explanations. When I say explanation, by the way, I just mean description of how the data came about. In other words, I mean a probability model. To put it concretely, in this case, p equals 25%, is one possible explanation of the data, and p equals 50% is another. So a Bayesianist is like a detective. They say, here is the data I saw. What are the likely explanations for it? But there's another completely different approach, not a detective's approach, a mystic's. The mystic says to themselves, I saw three heads and concluded p hat equals 25%. But that's just, you know, in this reality. It's just chance I saw three heads. If someone in a parallel universe did exactly the same 12 coin tosses, they might well have gotten two heads, or four, or maybe even 12. It's crazy to base our scientific inferences on an outcome that's contingent, that's just chance. Much better to look across the entire multiverse and think about all the parallel experiments the par and parallel data scientists in every parallel universe. Let's look at the spread of p hat values they found. If it's a tight spread, we should be confident about our value for p hat. If it's a wide spread, we should be less confident. This approach is called frequentist. It's all very well and good if you have the mystical power to actually perceive all the parallel universes. But if all you have is a Jupyter notebook, you need some tricks and some heuristics. The practical way to sort of look at the multiverse is with simulation, to ask, how can I simulate the data sets in all the parallel universes, given what I've just seen? Let's say, for example, we have a data set of temperature readings in Cambridge. What we want to do is simulate what these readings might have been. For each different simulated data set, we'll get a different readout for the quantity we're interested in. In this case, the rate of temperature increase. We'll look at the spread and take that to measure how confident we should be in our answer. This leads a great big question. How do we actually simulate the parallel universe data sets? In the next three videos, we'll look at how we might simulate it and at some of the standard ways to report confidence in our readouts. But before clicking next video, this is a good time to stop and think. How would you simulate based on what we've learned in the course so far?